So how important is confidence? How important is confidence? I've been thinking about this. I used to not think it was important at all. I used to think confidence was, because I had none of it. So I used to think like, well, I don't need it. I don't need to acquire it. It's useless. I figured like you can't, you you can't use it for, it's, you can't fake it. I don't think you could fake it, which maybe now I, I changed my mind. I think now you can't fake it. But I don't think you could fake it. I didn't think you could fake it, and I, I just didn't believe that um, it was helpful. I thought that if you were genuine, like if, if uh, let, let's say you were applying confidence, let's put it in context. Let's apply confidence to like getting a job, like you on a job interview. I used to think that you didn't need any confidence for that. Applying it to girls, I used to think you didn't need confidence for girls. Just in life in general, I did not think you needed confidence. And now that I'm older and I'm going on interviews, that's really what changed my mind. Is I, I put I, I imagine because everyone's telling me you got to be confident in an interview. You got to be confident because I because ha- I might have another interview, a follow up interview. If I because I did well in the first interview for this new job, I might have a follow up interview for the manager who's who, who might interview me. And I'm think I'm putting myself in their place. Like if a guy came in and was not confident at all. Let's say he was not. Let's say he was like me. He just fucking was all over the place. He was a neurotic mess. He's not confident at all. He comes in, doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's never been. He's been on four interviews in his whole life, and he just is babbling. He's mumbling. He's, he's uh, jittery. He's, uh, you know, he's like me. Imagine me talking in an interview. That guy is going to need an amazing resume to get that job. He's going to need an amazing resume. His resume is going to have to talk for him. Whereas a confident guy, if a confident guy goes in, and let's say he doesn't know anything about the job. Let's say he knows nothing about the job. He's never had the job before, but he's been on a million interviews. And he goes in, and he's just, he's best interviewee you could ever imagine. Perfect, you know, just perfect sitting up straight and just answering everyone. Uh, like, a, like not, I don't want to add, add intelligence to him, because that's a different aspect, but, but just being confident. And just knows what he's talking about, or thinks he knows enough. It believes in enough. Believes him. It believes in himself enough to project onto other people that he knows what he's talking about. Like bosses, most bosses are just confident. Like they just know. They just believe in themselves so much that when they talk to other people, even though an IT guy will be like that, he's totally not right about that computer program. It doesn't matter. The boss is just so confident. Most of my bosses have been confident. And, and not that intelligent. I mean, the boss I have now is very intelligent. But most bosses, they fool you with confidence. Confidence can just cast a a magic sc- a screen. It can, can it can a facade. It p- puts like a facade on that tricks everyone. It tricks everyone, including me. Confidence can trick everyone. Even if you know that confidence tr- is tricky, is trickery, it still works. It's it's just so, someone who believes himself enough. It's gonna project onto other people. And that interviewee who believes himself enough, even if he does, even if he doesn't know anything about the job, he probably will have a better chance than with the guy who n- knows more about the job but has no confidence. He'll probably get hired over that guy. Now, granted, if that guy is super intelligent. Let's say the the guy without confidence, super intelligent, and he knows the job like the back of his hand. I still think resume. If you if if you're perfect for the job, I think you you still override confidence. I think confidence is secondary. I don't think it's primary. I think it's secondary to that. But confidence changes everything. I I think it could change your path. And what and then let's apply it to girls. Let's apply it to girls. So let's say you're going to get you're trying to pick up girls, or not even picking up girls, but just you're walking around your daily life. Your daily life, you're walking around, and you're just you're talking to girls. A confident guy, first of all, is going to talk to girls. First of all, he's going to talk to girls about anything. He's going to look for openings and talk to girls about anything. And when he talks to the girls, it's going to seem as if he's picked up girls before. He's so confident that it seems like he's picked up girls before, especially if he's not faking it. If he actually is confident because of past experiences, let's say he's just banged out tons of girls and picked up tons of girls. And so he has natural confidence now. He just knows what to do and how to talk and just ha- and just believes himself enough. That guy is going to pick up way more girls than a guy who 
let's say, is this is the same looks as that guy. He looks the same as that guy. Maybe even looks a tad bit better. A tad bit. Not so much better, but a tad bit better. And has no confidence. That guy's not going to get any girls. He's not going to get any girls. And it's going to show also, because he's going to be fidgety. Like, I'm, I used to be so fidgety with girls. I used to play with a pen. Like, anytime a girl would come up to me, let's say, I'm not, like, when I was in school or even at work, when hot girls, like, started talking to me, I'll just fucking, or hot women, I, I'll bang anybody, but uh, hot females. And they'll, they'll, they'll start talking to me, and I'll start fidgeting. I used, to, I used to fidget with stuff with pens, and they noticed that. I used to remember girls looking at the, at the pen that I was fidgeting. They used to look at it, and I think girls know. I think girls can smell you. <laughs> I think they can smell how confident you are. They can smell. They just know if you're a loser. They just know. Which I have another. I, I got to make another video on my loser aura. That's a whole other video. But they just know when you're not confident. And the guy who is confident is going to make out like a bandit. Now, that is to say that it doesn't override the resume completely. I think that a guy who's rich and famous, a rich and famous guy who's extremely good looking and has no confidence, I don't think he needs confidence. I, I, I think that he'll get girls just fucking living, just being alive. He's going to get girls. But I, but confidence is still, it's still so important. It's still secondary. It's still way up there. It's still right next to your, the resume. It's right there. And it can beat out the resume if the resume isn't good enough, but it's like right there. But, uh, you know, that's really uh, what I what I have to work on is just being confident in the world. And, and, and that's just two aspects of girls and in interviews. But being confident in the world, I am such a pussy that, like, I will – even my tone of voice changes. My tone of voice gets lighter when, like, I almost bump into someone in the hallway. Like, oh, sorry. Like, I fucking am such a vagina that I, I will be like, oops, sorry about that. My, excuse me. Excuse me. And I notice, like, the, the – the dudes like who are just like fucking monotone and I know they're getting pussy and they're just like they're just like they don't even say anything to they almost bump it to you and you're the one going like oh sorry and then it's like and they just fucking keep walking that dude he reeks of pussy that guy reeks of vagina I reek of my fucking hand that I haven't washed on my penis I reek of something totally different I mean, I'm going overboard. I, I do get girls now, but <laughs> every now and again, I get I get older women that I can bang. <laughs> every now and then, because I used to be even worse. I used to be a total mess. I was a total. This is how I noticed it. I noticed it because I was on both sides of the fence. Like I kind of jumped over the fence. I used to have when I was getting when I was a virgin, and even after that, when I just had sex with one girl. But as a virgin, I was really fucking neurotic and awkward. But even after having sex with one girl, I was 24. I, didn't, I took like a six year break from having sex I had sex with one girl 24 and then I took a fucking six year break and I didn't have sex till 30, 30 again and then I started getting in the game but after those years before I started getting in the game I noticed my body language my body language was different it was more, it was more nervous and moving I was like moving around and girls knew they would like they look at they like do a little scan they like a, a quick second they'll scan and that's all it takes to be fucking weeded out and now that I'm more confident because I I I can't fake it I had to actually bang girls to get more confident I had to, I can't fake it so but after doing that now I think it's weird like I think they know that I know I think they know that I'm getting vagina from time to time. I'm somewhere in the cloud. I'm <laughs> somewhere in there. But I think because they react differently now to me, they'll 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 um they'll their tone of voice gets lighter and they're they're more fidgety. I, I think I think when you are if you could be supremely confident, I think that's when uh you can reel in a, a bunch of chicks. But but it is secondary to resume. I think resume is still primary.